All right, welcome back to the Pain Game YouTube channel. Today we're talking Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul, the face-off. And I am under the influence of whiskey. It's going to be a good one. Enjoy. Before we do get started, Dylan's posted a little bit of sparring footage. Not going to lie to you. It's terrible. Now, I didn't expect it to be good because he hasn't got, you know, what you call in boxing speed, power, or technique. However, he's in the ring, which gives us some hope he's going to show up. So, God bless. Let's hope it, it happens. You know how long it's been since you last fought? It's been a long time. I'll yeah, 1,530 you dealt with knee injuries. 1,530 You dealt with knee injuries. You dealt with knee injuries. You know and I like? know that okay. because I have a running counter going on dildodanis.com. <laughs> dildodanis.com running counter. This is the childishness I can get behind. Explain this, real fighter. Okay, so why won't you fight me in MMA then? So I, I was so easy to fight. What happened here? Yeah, because I'm like a man. I fought six guys, and when your brother got confronted by six guys, he ran away like a That's a good reply. It might be bullshit, but it sounds good, which is pretty much most of Twitter for uh, Dylan. I took the liberty of finding the bouncer I know that you choked did. you out. And I hope he's here. Yeah, I flew him I to London, him out. and I hired him as my personal security. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in fact, He's in this room right now. <laughs> that is wild, man. He's in this room right now. That's hilarious. And that's Chance. That's who hilarious. Who choked your ass out on the ground. That's so good. So in case you try anything funny. Can I just say, does own please stop beeping. How many times are you asking my brothers? Me and you? Yeah. Look at you. I'm so yeah. happy about it. I'm just is saying. that the biggest accomplishment in your life? Yeah. You don't want to say I'm what you got. Uh, Eskimo, brother. They fucked the same girl. Who is it? I'd love to know. I could be one as well, motherfucker. Apparently Captain America for me. Mad one there. Eh? He's just got married though, so congrats. Anyway, that's another story. One for the pod. Look at you, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait that he's in a fan of me. Now I'm excited. Imagine you fuck both of these. That that really is sticking with me now. You fuck both of these guys and you're watching them and you're just praying, man, I hope they don't talk about me. Cause fuck. Whoever you are, fair play. You're an athlete. I'm almost impressed. I'm not even mad. Will you come on the podcast? That's my question. Cause I want to know who was the better shark. Oh, I made a bet to you. What was it? It said if I win, I had to be the best man at your wedding. Okay, okay. Okay. And if I win, yeah. I get your entire purse. Sure. That, I felt bad there. You're asking to be the best man at his wedding. What is that? That, that? that means nothing. He hasn't fought in fucking 1,500 fucking days. You've then got 150 grand that Nina's suing you for. These lawyers ain't cheap. And I say this respectfully. Like, I don't think Dylan should be betting his purse. Like, keep the money. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Go ahead, send me the contract. I'm going to shake contract. your hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you the contract. You do this every single time. You and you're gonna ghost like your us. Thing, like We're looking at a man who's a, a, a future billionaire, Logan, right? They're gonna sell Prime for a billion. The shred off his balls is worth more than Dylan Dennis's paycheck, yeah. He doesn't give a shit. He could times it by 10 and not even notice it. That's the problem we have with this bet. But Logan's now on some, like, I'm gonna ruin your whole life type shit. Dylan definitely invited a lot of this on himself. Contract. Contract. Okay, contract? I will sign you an executed contract. Oh, I'll be your best man. Yes, yes. Okay. The fact that Dylan is actually like pushing to be the best man is like, there's so many better things you could have bargained for, Dylan. This man is going to be a billionaire. Like, say if I win, I get 10 times what my fucking fee is. He's not the best businessman. You know, who would you train with? Craig Jones. Craig Jones is the kind of guys I compete against. Okay. I saw how many times he showed you about. Wait, what imagine you, what I would do. Wait, what do we do? Me and Craig? Okay, I'm just saying. No, no, just no, imagine. I just, That's I just, not what I yeah, But you know, know what me and Craig athletes. No, but what do me and Craig do? You know the whole No, but what do me and Craig do? Okay. Jiu-Jitsu. Do you not know martial arts? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys, they're bad motherfuckers in their own right. But you're not getting punched in the head. It's a totally different sport. To act like Dylan has skin in the game over Logan Paul. When Logan Paul went, what was it, eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather? You can't say you've done anything in stand-up fighting. Two words. Ben Askren. And he was an MMA fighter who won world titles. He was a legit bad motherfucker. He couldn't last two seconds in boxing. I'm definitely going to knock you out in round six. Knock me I'm going to make you suffer. I'm going to make you suffer every single Bro, round. Bro, you're, you're a singular shot fighter. A what? You're a singular shot. You only got a big overhand. That's it. It's an easy, easy, easy match for me. A big overhand? Yeah, that's well, all you have. You gotta... I don't want to get into the whole... Um, body language shit but i i've paid attention to, to body language stuff shout out believe in bruce right he says this it's an easy 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 match for me this is an easy match for me and then he rubs his arm like this now this is what we call self-soothing this is when you want to make yourself feel better and confirm what you're saying to yourself and make yourself feel good watch when the camera changes there you go rubbing his arm that's to help his confidence in that moment that's basic 101 what's my record 0-1-1? 0-1-1. 
Oh, we went two? Where nah, are nah. My record's one and oh. Oh and oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's 10 billion, brother. And that's the value of the company I built because I lost. <laughs> I wasn't sure what he was saying there, but I do like that. When you got rocked by Anthony Taylor in that parking lot, yeah. if that truck wasn't there, would you have gotten knocked out? See, like, unlike you, I actually fight like a man. I stand there and you I call fight. that fight. It was like a sucker punch, but it's fine. Don't worry. Anthony Taylor, tough guy, you know, good, well rounded boxer in the influencer boxing space. But he's not like a hard hitter. And when Anthony Taylor landed that shot on Dylan, it did something. Big time. I've had it confirmed by people who were there in the room that Logan Paul put Anthony Taylor down in like a round. That's worrying. If you're Dylan Dennis, that fact, not opinion, that fact should be concerning to you. Anthony Taylor ain't a big guy. And look, anyone can take a shot flush on the chin in the middle of a street fight and get get hurt, get a bit wobbled. Like, I'm not trying to hate on Dylan here because that can just happen sometimes, right? But we're thinking about it. Was it a sucker punch? He, he, that would have put you out. He approached that you, you and out. punched you when you were in a street scuffle. Okay. It wasn't really a sucker punch. Like The fight had already started. It wasn't like he caught you out of nowhere and nothing was happening. So that that's not a sucker punch. But I, I get what he means. It, it, was a, it was a bit of a kerfuffle. Oh, we're four in the streets, dog. You suck. I'm undefeated in these streets. No, you're not. It's not looking good. Bro, your arms are going to last, bro. Look how big yo, you are. Yo, 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 yo. Look at you keep talking about my arms. It's just so funny because you're going to gas. Big arms mean you're going to gas. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's true. I swear to God. I'm okay. Okay, bro. I can't wait. You know what the odds are? He's still rubbing his arm constantly. Dylan is rubbing that arm like he's at home with the lube and the pawn is on and that's his dick. He has not stopped rubbing this thing. What's going on? Connor put down 200K to make 1.2 million. Then why won't Connor take my bet? Because you're a scumbag, bro. What? Yeah, you're a scumbag. He'll probably. Then take my money. <laughs> It's weird because I've seen on Twitter loads of people saying Dylan won this. And I understand like people don't like Logan, but wh when is this starting to. I'm, I'm waiting. You know, like I'm not saying Logan's killing him and destroying him yet, but. Dylan ain't winning. Why won't kind of take my bet? Talk look, to at, him. look at you. Talk look, to you him. look at your body language. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying. Looking at you. I'm, I'm sizing you up. I'm feeling you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Feeling me, bro. <laughs> you sent me a season assist. Whatever the Dylan. Shit is. I'm Dylan. Gonna the Dylan. I will prove it. I'll prove, prove it. it. I will. Post it then. I will. And it's probably gonna be photoshopped. No okay, one's saying shit. He, plays he says idiot. everything's photoshopped. Season assist for what? I don't know. You don't even know. I don't know what the. I don't know. Well, you're the one claiming you fucking got it, <laughs> you fucking silly bastard. And where were those people when you got caught for scamming? I didn't scam nobody. You're oh like, yeah, yeah, you I literally yeah. signed yeah. a contract that said I am agreeing to scamming my audience. You pay your fans back. Scamming you pay Dennis, your fans huh? back? Dylan, the difference between you and what I is, is what? I'm rectifying my situation. Hell, and I didn't Hell. scam anyone. Hell, I never made a single token Me either. dollar. I never yeah, sold my a ass. token. This is the funniest thing about this: is people are supporting Dylan. Because they look at Logan and they're saying, oh, he's a crypto scammer. And yeah, in all of that CoffeeZilla documentary, while it was a shit show, badly organized, and a lot of mistakes were made, he did not make a penny out of that. And CoffeeZilla has verified that multiple times. And yet Dylan, for his audience, took a grand in dollars, by the way. That wasn't even a thousand pounds, right? It's not a good exchange rate right now. And yet he peddled any old shite without even checking it over and was like, yeah, Download this, sign up to this. If you're going to vote for Dylan, when he... Pe oh, God, I'm too drunk, fuck it. <laughs> Community notes, check your ass, bro. Okay, yeah. Quote, unquote, Dylan Dennis has also scammed his audience on several I occasions. You, I ratio you every single time I tweet you. This man is 30 at least, isn't he? I ratio you. <laughs> your actual jujitsu record your is fake, 18 and 16. What's your fake wrestling record? <laughs> Did that. Okay, that was funny. The fake wrestling. I, I like that. I like that. However, Dylan is a legit black belt, right? Like, whatever world champion level thing, like, I will always agree. Like, Dylan deserves some respect on a martial arts level that he has studied a martial art, become an expert at it, to a point where he can then train other people at it. I respect that. But it's all the other shit, man. The pullouts, man. Two weeks before you're supposed to fight KSI, you come up with, I'm not ready. You're fighting a YouTuber who you've belittled for months on end, and you leave a promotion in the lurch because you're not ready. That removed so much respect that people had for him. He, I really want him to show up because if he doesn't, all the momentum he's built up from this Logan Paul situation is going right out the fucking window. And his career is basically dead at that point. Because how is any promotion ever gonna hire you again 
when you're about to get the bag of your life for this and you still won't show up. There's only one reason for that, and that's absolute fear. So I hope he does show up. You had to pay Bellator 100K I did, yeah, just to be allowed to fight here. It does Because even your boss, Scott Coker, knows you're not cut out for MMA. No, it's not that. It's because, no, it is that, it's because they work with uh, Showtime, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's a competitor. I agree with Dylan on that one. I think that's probably a natural thing that he had to do. That means he's now down 100K just to f take this fight. He's probably down 150K when he goes to court. So he's down 250K before he even th throws a punch. Fuck me. He might show up. <laughs> Fucking hell. What's the greatest thing you've done in your life? I'm a four-time world champion, bro. Black belt in uh, six years, not even, yeah. Under one of the best. And why does no one talk about it? Everybody talks about me still, and I haven't fought in four years. Three, why do you want to fight it? So why do you want to fight a guy that hasn't fought four I years? I heard you didn't even show up, ADCC 2019, because you're so heartbroken. I have a lot of event. injuries, bro. I'm a real fighter. I your... hard. This guy doesn't know how to train. He doesn't train hard. Nah, you now bro. when you train nah, hard, bro. bro, you get injured. Bro, bro, your back was sore. Nah. Yeah. She dumped her ass, bro. She you're dumped her ass because you cheated You're marrying this slut. The guy is marrying him. Oh, fucking hell, man. You can't call a man's missus that. Fucking hell. If a man calls your missus that, you have the right to kill him where he stands. I have no complaints if that happens. Here's what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? You ain't you're, gonna do You're shit. gonna leave this? You ain't gonna do You're gonna leave this? Yeah, and don't worry, because we you're have to fight. Right That's to the best phone. part. You're gonna go right to your phone. I don't give a about that. Oh, yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's I just everything. wanna fight you, bro. That's the only reason buddy, I'm not posting all this shit. I wanna fight you. Your life's gone downhill ever since you got kicked out of Marcelo's gym. Stop. I get it. Look at you. I get it. You know a little bit. Logan been doing his research. Dylan even accepted, you know, a little bit. And I must admit, right, when you look at Dylan back in the early days when he was training with Conor McGregor, he was slimmer, he looked healthier, he looked like a fit human being. Like, he looks like he's like 20 pounds heavier and it ain't fucking muscle. I mean, I've seen him with his shirt off. He's skinny fat. I don't say this in an aggressive way. Like, I, I, he looks like someone who's just not doing good mentally. And that's why when you're that low, you can take the low road of going at someone's like wife, you know what I mean? Because you don't even respect yourself at that point. Like what, who are you letting down? No one, you're not disappointing anyone. And I don't know, it's just a bit sad. Your life's gone downhill ever since you got kicked out of Marcelo's gym. Oh, stop. I get it. Well, look at you, I get you, it. you know a little bit. Turn to alcohol, try to drown everything out. Yeah, yeah. I thought you wanted to do You yeah, lost he two did. friends. Talk about that and see what happens. I am. It's, you you're trying to, trying you say to you're trying to see my scumbag and you're going to talk about my dad passing? You just called his wife a slut, bro. He can talk about whatever the fuck he wants. Like, you've just opened the floodgates. Like, you asked for this. Don't complain when it gets personal when you've went at his wife. Now, don't get me wrong. If Dylan had been respectful from the get-go and Logan mentions your dad, absolutely, he's a piece of shit for that. But you took it there. I empathize with you, Dylan. Okay. Because I understand the Twitter right now for you is like a group therapy session. Yeah. Because for the first time in a while, you're getting a sense of validation that you have mm. not gotten. I always... Uh, nah. Oh! 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 <laughs> Woo! Knockout! That was a knockout right there. He couldn't even string a... <laughs> Put it back in. Put it back in, start again. Logan just psychoanalyzed the fuck out of this man and he was... That was painful. All of you Dylan Dennis lovers out there, you can ignore what we all just seen, but we all seen it. Well done, Logan, bro. He fucking he asked for that. Yeah, he fucking asked for it. I think I'm gonna have another drink on that one. I will rip yeah, you okay. limb from limb. Oh, shut you the will not be able bro. to breathe. I will rearrange your entire body. So why are we doing a boxing fight? Or we boxing matches? I'm in a real fight. We can I'm in a real bro. fight. It's a like half a fight. At least you're using the old Conor McGregor lines. A half a fight, yeah? When Savannah dumped your ass, yeah. she tweeted, what? girls, don't give the ugly guy a And chance. then we got back together. No, that was so which is That was actually no, we just You're at least a four and a half. I actually, I actually think Savannah's a great girl, and I praise her for realizing that being with you was probably the worst decision of her life. Yeah. I really thought Dylan did something in you. Like, the internet was mad about Dylan, and I did, literally did not watch this until now. What are you on about? I do think though, like, in order to go after a woman like the way he has, you have to have had some, like, heartbreak shit go on. And the fact that, like, this guy lost his girl and then Jake Paul just, you know, did what he did with her. Like, no wonder he hates the Pauls, generally. It's sad, isn't it? You know what I mean? It is. It's sad. Logan? Dylan? DildoDanis.com <laughs> You want to bet that I knock you unconscious? I bet your entire f***ing purse. I, dude, I'm gonna f***ing clean you, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna and clean oh, you, yeah. I swear, yeah. Keep I can tell, I'm just looking at you, you got a weak jaw, you can see it. Oh yeah? Yeah, you got, mm -hmm. we'll see. The one thing I want to talk about right at the end of this is, there's been talk about Dylan should be given pay-per-view points for his promotion 
in this. Now, on the one hand, you can't deny it. Like, the guy has got people talking. Pay-per-view points are, are given out at the start of the event based on what you've done in the past, the eyeballs that you've drawn on fights in the past, what you've achieved, the value that you bring to the table. We already know that Logan Paul could fight pretty much any average fighter and people would fucking watch people would buy dylan dennis has never sold a ticket in his fucking life the reason he has got people talking is because he has been willing to talk about a guy's wife in the way he has it's the lowest of the low and it's an extreme thing and people are like i can't believe he's doing this yada 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 let's be real here you could remove dylan dennis from this equation and put another guy in the equation like the backup guy that they've got get him to talk about logan's wife the same result every fucking time. It's not Dylan who's bringing any real value here. He's just willing to do some low shit that other people might not be doing. But you can't give the guy pay-per-view points based on the fact he's willing to talk about someone's wife. This is insane. Logan has a history of selling major amounts of pay-per-views, fighting Floyd Mayweather, fighting KSI, selling out arenas. Like, the guy does not deserve pay-per-view points because he's willing to talk about your wife. This is That is an insane argument, in my opinion. So, we're going to leave it that i was thoroughly entertained both guys were funny but it, it, it was kind of what i thought it would be in that dylan in real life ain't the same guy you know and look there may be footage out there of dylan fighting that i haven't watched yet that makes me realize maybe he does have a chance i'm gonna look into it i'm gonna do a prediction video as the weeks go on i'm also gonna be doing the tommy fury ksi press conference reaction on the pain game youtube channel so don't forget to like the video subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you later